So a lot of you guys do this already, I think. We have the little ring on here to pull the Cunningham out to us. That makes it easier for me to get the Cunningham, because if we're both on your it's sort of sitting in front of them. And you still make the dashes. I don't actually cut them. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to wear gloves. No, I'll wear gloves, because I don't want to scratch my hands on the beam. <laughs> so, um, but it does work really good to have that, you know. Um, it just makes it easier for him, actually. There you go. Because I don't actually touch any ropes up with No, you don't. Um, not allowed to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> up. Uh, in Europe we run the jib halyard like this one on both sides so it runs back. But actually it's been alright only having it on the starboard side because it's the only side that I really want to mess around with it. Because the top mark, I want to be able to flick it off if I have to. Um, Any advantage to bring in that back a little bit farther for like on the 20, longer deck? Oh, I think it's, well, you can just adjust it by how long you make the strop, you know. You can have it wherever you want to have it. Just use the, the stay attachment as your as your reference, you know. That's kind of pretty cool and easy to do. Um, this boat's got guys put a continuous uh, rotation on it, which is pretty good actually. I used to have it, and then I just got lazy and couldn't be bothered splicing the lines together. And then uh, it's it's nice to have. I think if you've got the time, it's pretty good to have. And he just has a shot called take up underneath. Um, but normally in Europe, we just run like a a slightly bigger rope so we can just grab the thing really easily and pull it up. That's not really a big deal. Um, that's about it for that stuff. Uh, trapeze, we changed it from the handle things to these things. They're pretty good. It's more natural pulling like this than trying to hold yourself like that. It's, it's a good addition or a good change to make. doesn't need to be carbon. It does need to be carbon. Does it carbon that you make? Yeah. I had a mate of mine in Australia make them, actually. And they're full phone call. No, it's, it is a mate of mine in Oz who does them. He's a skiff boy from Australia. They're actually not that expensive. They're about 25 bucks each or something. It's, it's, not, it's not crazy. Yeah, it's much more. But in Europe, I got them uh, on my boat uh, with nylon. With just random plastic, but it's not random as cool. plastic. Yeah, just <laughs> random plastic. Yeah, it's all right. Actually, if I remember correctly, you cut trapeze-wise, to get them off. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly true. Yeah. I had a small explosion when I saw it. <laughs>